Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla rolls out software update to 435,000 vehicles in China to address recall. Elon Musk confirms, Tesla Semi has battery pack around 900 kilowatt hours, but more answers are needed. Tesla chief designer Franz von Holzhausen talks Cybertruck design and more. And, Tesla Model Y in Quicksilver paint and white interior, spotted in Giga Berlin. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla China will be rolling out an over-the-air software update for over 435,000 vehicles to address a recall connected to the Model 3 and Model Y's position lights. As per a notice from China's State Administration for Market Regulation SAMR, a software defect in the affected Teslas may cause the position lights on one or both sides of the affected vehicles to not illuminate. Overall, the recall affects 435,132 vehicles in China. This number is comprised of 142,277 made-in-China Model 3 sedans that were produced between December 27, 2020 and November 7, 2022, as well as 292,855 made-in-China Model Y crossovers that were produced between January 1, 2021 and November 11, 2022. As noted in the SAMR notice, the occasional non-illumination of the affected vehicle's position lights reduces the visibility of the all-electric cars. Thus, in extreme cases, the affected vehicles could experience an increased risk of collisions and other accidents. Similar to other recalls in both China and in abroad, Tesla's fix for the affected vehicle's issues would be addressed through a free over-the-air software update. For now, Tesla China has advised owners of affected vehicles to drive extra carefully. Tesla Model 3 and Model Y owners are also advised to upgrade their vehicle software as soon as possible after they receive the recall notice. Moving to the next update, Elon Musk confirms Tesla Semi has battery pack around 900 kilowatt hours, but more answers are needed. Elon Musk has confirmed Tesla Semi's efficiency at 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, which means it has a roughly 900 kilowatt hours battery pack. It's an important piece of information, but there are still more questions to answer before Tesla Semi can officially be a truly disruptive product. Recently, Tesla unveiled the production version of its Tesla Semi Class 8 electric truck and delivered the first units. At the event, Tesla described an electric truck that could truly disrupt the trucking industry. However, there were a few pieces of information that Tesla omitted from the event that could really be major difference makers. The two main ones are the weight of the actual truck and its price. The trucking industry is all about the economics of moving products by the pound. The main thing that will drive that is the cost of operation per mile, which is mainly affected by the vehicle's efficiency. Tesla has already reported an efficiency under 2 kilowatt hours per mile, which is impressive, but not exactly clear when you are trying to determine your cost per mile for electricity. On Twitter recently, Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed that it is 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. That's more precise, and truck operators can input their electricity rates to get an idea of fuel costs and savings compared to diesel. It also gives us an idea of the Tesla Semi's battery pack. It's not perfect, since we don't have the exact range of the truck. At 500 miles, which Tesla claims, that's 850 kilowatt hours, but the pack generally has a buffer, and based on the 500 mile trip it completed, it looks like the electric truck might have some more in it. Now what we need to know is, how much cargo can a Tesla Semi carry? A Class 8 truck fully loaded needs to weigh 80,000 pounds or less, as per regulations, but electric trucks have been allowed an extra 2,000 pounds. In order to know that, we need to know the weight of the truck itself. You have to deduct the weight of the trailer, which is about 10,000 pounds, for a 53-foot trailer, and the weight of the truck, from the 82,000-pound limit. Tesla says that it will roughly have the same capacity as a diesel truck, but diesel tractors have a wide range of weight, from roughly 12,000 to 25,000 pounds. 
The Tesla Semi's power would certainly need to be compared more to the higher end of that range, but at the end of the day, trucking companies want as much cargo capacity as possible. The automaker hasn't confirmed the weight of the Tesla Semi, but we can deduce from its load test with concrete blocks that it is around 27,000 pounds, but that's unconfirmed at this point. That's not the best, but it would still give the Tesla Semi the capacity to move about 45,000 pounds of cargo, which still makes the vehicle super useful. Also, it is safe to assume that the number will improve greatly over the years as battery technology improves. But nonetheless, it would be useful if Tesla could confirm the weight of the Tesla Semi. Then we need the actual price of the truck. In 2017, Tesla said the trucks would be $150,000, $180,000, and $200,000, depending on the model, but those prices are expected to have changed over the last five years. Those prices with that capacity would make the Tesla semi revolutionary, since it would pay itself back in about three years just from fuel savings in most markets, but we don't know that for a fact without the official price. Moving to the next update, Tesla chief designer Franz Bonholz-Ausen talks Cybertruck design and more. During a recent interview at the Peterson Automotive Museum, Tesla chief designer Franz Bonholz-Ausen talked about several of his projects in the electric vehicle maker. He also shared quite a number of insights about the Cybertruck, its design, and its production version. To state that Franz Bonholz-Ausen is one of the pillars of Tesla would be an understatement. Already a successful automotive designer before, he was scouted by Elon Musk to join Tesla about 15 years ago, Von Holzhausen is largely behind the clean futuristic and iconic look that has effectively become a trademark of Tesla's electric vehicles over the years. When asked about the Cybertruck, Von Holzhausen highlighted that it is a vehicle where form followed function. Pickup trucks have adopted a pretty standard form since they entered the market, so the Cybertruck is definitely a breath of fresh air in that aspect. According to the chief designer, the Cybertruck has born out of the idea of the vehicle being produced differently. Cybertruck is really born out of the idea of a different way of manufacturing, a material that put the toughness on the outside. So we really wanted to use stainless steel as a material, so that the hardest part of the vehicle was on the outside, not the delicate paint. And it felt right for a truck that's used in like a Swiss army knife, in any kind of environment, it has to be tough," Von Holzhausen said. Forming a vehicle with stainless steel is no joke, but Tesla is up to the task. This is one of the reasons why it has taken some time for the Cybertruck to start production. As noted by both Elon Musk and other executives, such as Von Holzhausen himself, however, the Cybertruck would definitely be worth the wait. And as for the Cybertruck's production version, Von Holzhausen noted that the vehicle would be very similar to the pickup truck's original prototype, with some minor changes. Moving to the last update, Tesla Model Y in Quicksilver paint and white interior, spotted in Giga Berlin. It appears that Tesla Gigafactory Berlin is now producing Model Ys that are painted in the company's new Quicksilver color and equipped with a white interior. This was hinted at in a recent drone flyover of the Germany-based electric vehicle factory. There is no denying that the Tesla Model Y's Quicksilver color option is a pretty stunning shade. Thanks to the facility's next-generation paint shop, which allows up to 13 layers for depth and dimension, the Model Y's Quicksilver shade gives the all-electric crossover an extremely sleek and futuristic look. So far, however, sightings of Quicksilver Model Ys have mostly featured vehicles with a black interior. Now, Tesla's black interior is quite premium in its own right. But the company's white interior is what really sets the company's vehicles apart. Combined with the Model Y's cavernous cabin and all-glass roof, the white interior provides passengers with a comfortable and cozy ambience during trips. Fortunately, as hinted at in a recent flyover of the Giga Berlin complex, Quicksilver Model Ys with white interiors are now being produced. Gigafactory Berlin is only producing Model Y crossovers for now, but the facility's ramp has been very steady. 
and with innovations like its next-generation paint shop that allow Tesla to offer color options like Quicksilver and Midnight Cherry Red, Gigafactory Berlin's Made in Germany model-wise would likely be among the best that the company could offer. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.